suffer and you go through tests and trials. Here are three reasons why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would put you through a hardship. Number one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to remove your sins in this life and not in the akhirah. We know that the Prophet sallallahu told us that not a single calamity, not a single hardship is experienced by us except that Allah removes some of our sins because of it. Even the Prophet said, even, they, even a pricking of a thorn would relieve us or would remove some of our sins. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want to punish us in the akhirah and obviously we know the worst way to have our sins removed is to be punished in the hellfire. And so before any of that happens, Allah puts us through these hardships to cleanse us and cleanse us of our sins. Number two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to provide us with taqwa. What is taqwa? Taqwa is the consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taqwa is being aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The reality is that sometimes we live our lives and we tend to forget about Allah. We tend to forget that we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So every now and then Allah will put us through a hardship to remind us that we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we go through pain, when we go through a hardship, this is Allah reminding us that we are truly in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number three, Allah tests us. Allah puts us through hardship to increase us in rank because he loves us. The Prophet ﷺ told us that when Allah loves someone, he will test them. And the Prophet ﷺ told us that those who are tested most severely are the prophets, and then those most like them, and then those most like them. So as we go through these tests and trials, we are raised in rank and we get more and more closer to the Prophet ﷺ and the rest of the prophets. So it is out of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love for us and wanting to increase us in rank that we are tested or being tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.